whole relationships are seeing numbers as being made of two or more parts. In second grade, this concept helps us when we add, subtract, or find missing numbers. We also use this concept to help us build fact families. Let's review. In first grade, you probably used a part-part whole mat similar to this one. We use it in second grade as well. The small box at the top holds the whole number. The two or more spaces below hold each part of the whole. For example, take a look at this picture. In the top row, there are three bowling balls on the left and two on the right. When wanting to find the total, we add the part three plus the other part two to get the whole or total amount of bowling balls. Three plus two equals five. Now let's look at the second or middle row. There are three on the left and three on the right. Three plus three equals a whole of six. Finally, let's look at the bottom row. Two bowling balls on the left and four on the right. Two plus four equals a whole of six. We're ready to practice. Mrs. Gary and Mrs. Johnson are playing ring toss. Five rings miss and three make it onto the cone. How many rings did they toss all together? The part part whole mat can come in different forms. Here I made one out of construction paper and number mats. It shows the part five plus part three. The number eight can be placed on the whole space since both parts added together create the whole eight. They tossed eight rings. Mrs. Gary and Mrs. Johnson play again. This time, five miss. One ring rolled into the grass and is not pictured. And six make it onto the cone. How many rings did they toss all together this time? Five plus six equals a whole of 11. They tossed 11 rings. Now they've decided to change up the game. How fun! Can you draw a part part whole mat for this result? Grab a pencil and a piece of paper after pausing this video. Check your work with mine. The parts are two and six. Two plus six equals a full of eight rings. Sometimes there are multiple add-ins or more than two numbers to add. When this happens, all you have to do is add on another part box. Mrs. Johnson adds up the parts, two on the cone, four on the ground, and three on her arm. The whole is two plus four plus three. The whole is nine. She has nine rings all together. Other times, you know a whole and one part, but one of the parts is missing. For example, Mrs. Gary knew she had 18 yogurt dip pretzels when she left the table and only had eight left on the napkin when she returned. She could use this part part whole mat to solve. Mrs. Gary had a whole of 18 pretzels. She had a missing part and was left with only eight. Now she'll have to work backwards to figure out how many are missing. She'll start with the whole of 18 and subtract a part she knows. 18 minus eight equals 10. The missing part is 10. Someone took 10 pretzels when she was gone. Oh no. I bet her silly dog Gunner ate them. Good luck getting to the bottom of that one. You will review more on number relationships later on when you watch the Fact Families video. I hope you enjoyed this whole video, or at least part of it.